Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you the preposition of places in Turkish. <clears throat> so, um, let's see how it works. Well, this is the formula. You will put the noun and the suffix in in four different uh, forms like in, un, un and un. And it's going to be followed with the preposition and um, the suffix in there in two forms like in there and unda. And here we go, and let's see uh, how it goes. So we have each, it means in, each in there. Which means inside. I mean, both of them are the same. <clears throat> okay, we have each or içinde. We use it as uh, içinde. As you see in the picture, we say çantanın. Here, yeah, çantanın içinde bir köpek var. Var means exists. There is. Köpek means dog. And çanta. Uh, means the bag. Here we have the suffix un, and because we need a consonant between uh, the two vowels of a and u, here we have n. So we have chanta nun. The word is chanta, and we add the suffix in, sorry, un, and here in the middle, we should put an N here. So we have çantanın içinde bir köpek var. It means there is a dog in the bag. Yeah, the word is içinde. We have içeri. It means inside. And içeri de means inside of a place, usually inside of a house or a shop or something. Uh, as you see in the picture, we are describing the picture here. Çocuklar içeride oynuyorlar. Çocuklar içeride oynuyorlar. In some accents, you may hear içeride. Okay, but um, the standard form is içeride. Which means the children are playing inside. Which means inside the house, actually. Okay. Next, we have dışarı, which means outside. Dışarıda means in outside. <laughs> but I didn't write that. Like, Okay, it means outside. Both of them means uh, outside. So... As you see in the picture, we have O dışarıda duruyor. O dışarıda duruyor, which means he is standing outside. He is standing outside. Dışarıda. Yeah. Okay, we have dış. And dışında. Dış means out, out of anything. like, And outside of a place. Uh, for the meaning of outside of a place, we use dışında. Out of something. As you see in the picture, we have köpeğim, my dog. Evin dışında oynuyor. Which means my dog is playing outside. My dog is playing outside. Okay. Evin. Ev means house. And evin dışında means outside the house. Okay. Next we have yan. Which means side. A side of something. Yanında means beside. As you see in the picture, we have köpek 
çantanın yanında. The dog is beside the bag. Yanında. Beside. Yes, we have the un here. Again, there's a n between the vowel o and u here. So, köpek çantanın yanında. And we have yan side. And um, yanda means just beside here. Like very close to the place that you exist. Um, we have an example like şu yanda bir park var. It means there is a park just near here. Yanda. Just near here. And şu yanda means near this place that I'm standing. Okay. Next. We have üst, which means top of something. Uh, top of a place. <clears throat> and üstünde means on something. As we see in the picture, we say elma, the apple. Elma, kitabın üstünde. So, we have the apple is on the book. Kitab is the book. Üstünde. Is on something. Okay, so we have kitabın üstünde. Okay, we have etraf, which means around. Etrafında means around something. As we see in the picture, we say sandalyeler masanın etrafında. Which means the chairs, sandalyeler, are around the table. Masa means table. Masanın etrafında. Here, around the table, masanın etrafında. Okay, and we have etraf, as I said, it is around. Etrafta means around here. Like etrafta kimse yok. Which means nobody is around here. Kimse yok means there is nobody. Or there isn't anybody. Etrafta kimse yok. Nobody is around here. Okay, we have alt, which means bottom of something. And um, altında means under something. So, we have çocuk masanın altında. And... Which means the child is under the table. Çocuk, yeah, the child. Masanın, the table. Altında, is under the table. Okay. Next. Okay, we have arka, means behind. Arkasında, behind something. As we see in the picture, we say, Masanın arkasında bir kadın var. Which means there is a woman. Bir kadın var. There is a woman. Behind the table. Masa means table. Arkasında means behind. So masanın arkasında behind the table. We have arka means at the back of a place. Like at the end of a place or behind a place. So we have arkada means at the back of a room or I don't know, a line, um, a shop or something at the back of a place. As an example, 
We say, arkada birisi var mı? Which means, is there anybody at the back? Or is there anybody behind, let's say, behind the wall or behind the curtain? Arkada birisi var mı? It may mean behind, it may mean at the back. Okay, we have ara or arasında, which both means, uh, means between or among. Uh, as we see in the picture, we have the child is between the dogs. Oh, okay. Uh, çocuk iki köpeğin arasında. The child is between two dogs. İki means two. Um, the child is between two dogs. Köpeğin aras iki köpeğin arasında. Okay. Yes. So we had noun and the suffix in or un or un in different uh, forms and the preposition in the shape of in the uh, and unda as you had or unda. So we had it in different forms. As a suffix. Here we have some examples. So, arabanın içinde. It means inside the car. Arabanın içinde. Okulun dışında. Okul means school. Dış means out. Okulun dışında. Outside the school. Or sometimes it means apart from school. Like. What do you do apart from going to school? Okay, okulun dışında. Okay. Um, we have gülün yanında. It's like next to the rose, beside the rose. Gül means rose. Közün üstünde. It means on the embers. Like they they they go um to picnics they they like making barbecues and they sometimes have restaurants that um make food on barbecues and on embers they like putting vegetables and cooking meat and you may hear this a lot if you are a fan of a barbecuing in in Turkish way uh like kuzun üstünde. We have on the embers and we have çiçeğin etrafında around the flower. Çiçeğin etrafında. Çiçek. Here, çiçek, which ends with ke, um, means flower. And when the suffix in comes, the k uh, turns to yumuşak ke, with the sound of g. So we have not g, but it it gets softer. Um, çiçeğin etrafında. So we have around the flower. Okay, I think I had no more examples. Do I have any examples? Yes. Okay. Uh, so there are some other phrases. In these phrases, uh, let me see. Okay. Sorry. Okay, uh, in these phrases, um, we have kind of different um, meanings for them. So we have arka arkaya. Arka, if you remember, means behind or back. Arka arkaya means one by one frequently. Okay, like um, the cars are coming one by one frequently. Let's say arka arkaya arabalar geliyor. And üst üste means on each other or like every, like everything is piled on each other or I don't know the problems are coming one by one or they are piled on each other. It means that. Okay. Yan yana means next to each other. Like the people are standing next to each other. Yan yana. Ara ara means sometimes, like 
rarely sometimes, but sometimes. Um, there's an expression like they say Adam içeride. By içeride they mean jail. Like Adam içeride means the man is in jail. Ahmet dışında. Dış was out. Uh, dışında means out of something. But when we have it uh, like beside a noun, it may mean apart from. So Ahmet dışında means apart from Ahmet. Blah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, so guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, please take your notes and uh, listen to different um, conversations in different videos, uh, in the, like Turkish videos, Turkish programs, and you will come across uh, these um, phrases a lot, and that would be a good practice for you. Um, if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, please give a thumbs up. It will help help me. And um, see you in the next video. Good luck.